This is monkfish, um, one of my favourite types of fish. Very meaty fish, very forgiving, quite a good one to cook. Goes really well in things like curries because it's so meaty. So I'm going to season this with a bit of salt and some olive oil and we're going to roast this. So monkfish goes really well roasted because like I say it's a very meaty fish. A bit of pepper and I'm just going to put this pan on here. So I'm going to start it off in a saucepan then finish it off in the oven. So a bit of oil in the pan. All I've got here is some cooked new potatoes. So they're nice and soft, so they're nice and easy to crush. So I'm just going to crush them down with some watercress. And the sauce is really simple, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic, that's all, it, all there is to it. So the great thing with you know buying fish online, getting things like monkfish through your door, is finding a really easy go-to recipe. And this is one of my go-to recipes for monkfish. Now, whenever you cook fish in a pan, there's a couple of things to remember. You want it to be quite hot, not roasting hot so it burns, but sort of medium hot and always lay the fish away from you, like that. So if you splash any hot oil, it splashes towards the other side of the workstation. And again, just gonna let that cook and eat with all fish cookery in a pan. Don't mess around with it, don't move it, don't jiggle the pan around, just leave it to get a nice color on one side, turn it over, a nice color on the other side. It's gonna take three or four minutes, a couple of minutes on each side, and then straight into a medium hot oven, about 200 degrees for about eight minutes. But again, we'll be probing it. So we'll probe it after four minutes and see where we're at. Again, we want 50 degrees for monkfish. So I've just got a nice brown color there. So I flipped it over. I'm gonna give it another minute and then into the oven. Okay, so now it's got a nice color on both sides and I'm gonna pop it into my oven. It's at 200 degrees. And now I'm gonna to start to warm up my potatoes, but I'm just gonna give them a little crush, crush their dreams a little bit. Um, so I put them on the heat and just, I don't wanna turn it into mashed potato, but yeah, just a light crushing and lots and lots of olive oil. And I will re-season these as well. I seasoned the water before, but just a bit of sea salt and pepper. So potatoes are, back to temperature. I'm just gonna leave them there for a sec. And I'm just gonna check on the monkfish. So it's been in for four or five minutes. I'm just gonna probe it in the middle, 43. So we're about seven degrees out. So probably another minute in the oven. But, and while I'm waiting for that to finish, I'm gonna add my watercress to my potatoes. And the, just the residual heat, heat from the potatoes will just not cook the watercress because you still want it to be, you know, have that kind of crunch, but just lightly warm it through. A bit more olive oil. So. Okay, so monkfish now. Give it another probe. 50 and 50. So monkfish is a very meaty fish. You can actually rest it for a little while, a couple of minutes, just to let it relax. So we're gonna to start to plate this up now with some potatoes. You can actually use a little pastry ring or something for this if you really wanna get very sort of chefy, but I'm not too fussed about that. Just build a little potato mountain and now slice the monkfish. I'm gonna slice it at a bit of an angle so, that, finish that with some sea salt, just between each part, a little bit of pepper, straight up the top, like so, that's the other one, so, and then just this sauce. And there you have it, a very simple way of cooking this wonderful fish. So simple, you've got to try it at home. <laughs>